Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to find output y of t with the help of convolution integral method when both the signals are rectangular pulses. That is, x of t is a rectangular pulse and h of t is also rectangular pulse. Okay. So in this case, we will see it with the help of one example where it is asked find y of t if x of t is 2 rect t by 2 which is a rectangular pulse with amplitude 2 and width 2 and the another signal h of t is u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 4 okay so we will see how to draw these both signals so first step is step 1 that is put t equal to tau everywhere and draw both the signals so x of t becomes x of tau and wherever there is a t it will be replaced by tau okay so x of tau equal to 2 rect tau by 2 and h of tau equal to u of tau minus 1 minus u of tau minus 4 now plotting both the signals so the first signal is a rectangular pulse with amplitude 2 so it is a rectangular pulse and its period is 2 so it is starting from minus 1 and ending on 1 so this is a rectangular pulse which is having fixed ends now the second signal to draw second signal we will first draw u of tau minus 1 this is delayed step signal so it is delayed by 1 second starting from 1 tending to infinity another signal is u of tau minus 4 which is delayed signal delayed step signal by 4 second so it is starting from 4 ending to tending to infinity and we have to take their subtraction so first signal minus second signal if you are doing so in that case the first signal is present from 1 to infinity second signal starts from 4 so the subtraction becomes the output signal that is h of tau present from 1 to 4 after 4 signal both signals will be present so the subtraction becomes uh, subtraction gives us 0 output so from 4 onwards the signal becomes 0 so this is rising pulse and this is falling so we will be getting a rectangular pulse of width 4 now we have to calculate output y of t because of these two signals that is both the rectangular pulses one is this x of tau another one is h of tau now next step is what as per the formula of convolution which is minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of minus tau plus t d tau we required h of minus tau plus t currently we are have we are only having h of tau so to get this h of minus tau plus t first we will draw h of minus tau so which is a reflection of this signal reflection of this signal so we will get after reflecting that along y axis so we will be getting the reflected signal h of minus tau from minus 4 to minus 1 now to get h of minus tau plus t we have to consider different values of t ranging from very small value to very large value so for that purpose we will be considering different cases so case 1 now all these cases are depends on the another signal that is h x of tau so x of tau is starting from minus 1 means left end of x of tau is minus 1 so the cases will be like h of minus tau plus t which is nothing but adding t in both these ends okay so minus 4 plus t to minus 1 plus t so minus 4 plus t to minus 1 plus t okay this is h of minus tau plus t now we have to consider now minus 1 plus t this right end of h of minus tau plus t we have to compare with left end of x of tau so first case becomes the right end less of x of minus uh, right end of h of minus tau plus t less than left end of x of tau so this is the first case so here it is minus 1 plus t which is right end of x of tau uh, h of tau is less than left end of x of tau this is left side this is right side so minus 1 below this 
if minus 1 plus t is there then then there is a no overlap case no overlap means multiplication of two signals gives us zero output okay so minus 1 minus 1 plus t less than minus 1 so it is nothing but when minus 1 goes to the right side it becomes t less than 0 so for t less than 0 there is no overlap y of t becomes one signal present another absent or another present first absent so multiplication answer gives us zero output so y of t equal to 0 for t less than 0 so this is case number 1 now case number 2 now here we will consider this case again with respect to the another signal so both the signals in this case i have drawn on a single diagram with one uh, different colors so the blue colored pin is used to draw x of tau and the red color is of h of minus tau plus t now just check when h of minus tau plus t's right side is greater than left side of x of tau means minus 1 plus t which is right side of x h of tau is greater than minus 1 then what happens the overlapping starts but now we will see different types of overlaps so first we will see when the right side that is minus 1 plus t greater than minus 1 but it is less than 1 okay so in that case your minus 1 plus t it is greater than minus 1 but less than 1 during that region there is a partial overlap happens and the overlapping region is nothing but limit of integration limit of integration so y of t becomes minus 1 to minus 1 plus t amplitude of one signal that is 2 amplitude of x of t that is 2 and amplitude of h of minus tau plus t is 1 so minus 1 to minus 1 plus t 2 into 1 d tau okay so when we solve this we will get 2 into tau uh, with limits minus 1 to minus 1 plus t and the output we will get as 2t so y of t equal to 2t for for now we have to check the range of t now what we have considered this right end of h of tau which is this red waveform is of h of minus tau plus t so this point okay it is greater than minus 1 so minus 1 plus t greater than equal to minus 1 overlapping starts but we should get a partial overlap so minus 1 plus t that is this end is less than 1 because when these two ends meet there will be full overlap full overlap of either of the two signals so when this minus 1 plus t this end is becomes equal to this end then there will be a full overlap of x of tau so which we sh we don't want at this time so when we simplify these two limits what happens t greater than or equal to 0 but t less than 2 means the t should become greater than or equal to 0 but it should be less than 2 during this region there will be partial overlap so the output we got y of t equal to 2t for t greater than or equal to 0 and t is less than 2 so this is case 2 now the third third case that is now the thing that we have restricted that is this end we have restricted to become equal to or greater than 1 now we are making it free so that minus 1 plus t this end becomes greater than 1 or equal to 1 so this is minus 1 plus t greater than or equal to 1 but but now now to have a full overlap means this end becomes equal to this or greater than this there will be full overlap of minus 1 to plus 1 but during that period till how much time this minus 1 plus t should increase okay so it, it is dependent on minus 4 plus t this is left end of h of minus tau plus t it should be less than or equal to less than or equal to minus 1 so that is what we have mentioned here minus 1 plus t greater than or equal to 1 greater than or equal to 1 
but minus 4 plus t less than equal to minus 1 because when this end meets here there will be full overlap till this point when minus 4 plus t becomes greater than minus 1 again there this full overlap will not be there okay so now during this period full overlap happens of x of tau along tau axis and limit of integration is again same the overlapping period that is minus 1 to plus 1 there is a full overlap so y of t becomes integration from minus 1 to plus 1 2 into 1 d tau 2 is amplitude of one signal another is amplitude of another signal so we will get y of t as 2 into 2 equal to 4 during the region now this is the region minus 1 plus t greater than equal to 1 means t greater than equal to 2 this one goes to right side so t greater than equal to 2 but minus 4 plus t less than equal to minus 1 which means t less than or equal to 3 so 2 to 3 if t is there then during that region we will be getting full overlap and we will be getting output as 4 during that region now the next step as we have restricted minus 4 plus t to be less than minus 1 now we are making it free but this end should not cross this end till that point there will be partial overlap just see minus 4 plus t becomes greater than minus 1 but less than 1 minus 4 plus t greater than minus 1 but less than or equal to 1 okay now to calculate this t now t becomes here it is greater than 3 but during this part it becomes great no, less than or equal to 5 so total t will be greater than 3 but less than or equal to 5 during that part again a partial overlap happens so this is a partial overlap and limits of partial overlap will be minus 4 that is this end minus 4 plus t to 1 so y of t will be minus 4 plus t to 1 which is para overlapping period 2 into 1 d tau 2 into tau okay after integration then after putting limits we will be getting 2 into 5 minus t from limits t less uh, that t greater than equal to th greater than 3 but less than equal to 5 now the next step again next case when this minus 4 plus t which was inside this in the previous case if it becomes greater than 1 then what happens now this diagram will you will get and during this part you can see one signal is present but another signal is absent during this minus 1 to plus 1 then this signal is present but this signal is absent so there will not be any overlap again so during this period you can say minus 4 plus t greater than 1 which is nothing but t greater than 5 there will not be any overlap so answer y of t will be minus infinity to plus infinity one signal is present another one is absent or another one present first signal will be absent so equal to 0 the multiplication answer becomes always 0 so for t greater than 5 so the final output which is outcome of all the cases that we have seen y of t equal to 0 in the first case where there is there was no overlap so when it was there t less than 0 second case when t becomes greater than or equal to 0 but less than 2 output will be 2t then next t becomes greater than or equal to 2 but less than or equal to 3 output is 4 when t becomes greater than 3 but less than or equal to 5 output is 2 into 5 minus t and the third one uh, sorry the fifth one t greater than 5 output becomes 0 so if you draw all this you will get a trapezoidal pulse so just remember the output of two rectangular pulse of different width is a trapezoidal pulse or trapezoidal wave now just check one signal is having width the x of tau was having width 2 the another signal is having width 4 so two different signal two rectangular pulses with different width we will get a trapezoidal pulse so the rising ramp then the stable output or constant output and then a falling ramp so we will get a trapezoidal output for finding the convolution of con uh, convolution integral of two rectangular pulses we will get a trapezoidal pulse so that's all for this video 
hope you uh, your doubts about all the cases how to take uh, consider cases and how this output comes is cleared so this is the best example which will be clearing all the doubts regarding all types of signals and how to consider their convolution so if you are uh, solve this kind of numerical your doubts regarding all types of convolution integral will be clear so that's all for this video